hi everybody welcome back to my channel today i wanted to do an unboxing and i wanted to show y'all my first time utilizing this new device that i have it is the rose skin co hair removal handset so funny story <laughs> funny story time so basically how i ended up getting this product is because Basically, it was that time of the month or whatever. And, like, sometimes when I'm about to start my period or whatever the case is, like, I might get, like, a little bit of hair, like, on my neck and stuff like that. Like, it just always been like that. I guess it's hormonal. I don't know. Whatever. So, my guy friend that I was talking to, you know how dudes be trying to be funny. You know, he was like, oh, my God, your beard is thicker than mine. <laughs> he ain't say that, but, you know, he basically made a comment about my neck hairs or whatever. So he suggested. So I'm like, hold on, boo. You want to talk stuff about my neck hairs, then you must be having a solution. He's like, yeah, um, I'm going to pay for you to um, go to the laser hair removal place so that you don't have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be my little knight in shining armor or whatever. To so a problem I never thought was a problem, but whatever. If you're going to pay for it, <laughs> whatever. So I was like, okay. So anyway, I ended up going to the laser hair removal. I had a, like a initial consultation and stuff and like got to meet with the doctors and do like a spot treatment so that they can see how I react to the laser removal and stuff like that. I got a lot of information about laser hair removal. I got a lot of information about um, just like hyperpigmentation and just like everything that has to do with hair removal or whatever methods. And like to me, I'm the type of person like I get my eyebrows threaded. Okay, like I'm a natural person. I never got into like Botox and all of that type of stuff. So for me, this was like out of my comfort zone. And um, so I'm at the thing. I'm nervous or whatever like that. And I'm like, after they explain pretty much like what's going on with the situation so basically what what happens with the sorry it's a little shaky what happens with the laser hair removal is like you shave and then you do the laser treatment and you do it consistently until the hairs never grow back so that's basically the idea of it and it's not technically permanent because you need maintenance like every six months or to a year depending on your growth or whatever your hair growth amount but for the most part, it should be gone. So me, I I never even got a wax before. The only thing I ever got waxed was my eyebrows. But I don't like shaving. Like, nair and stuff is cool or whatever. But shaving, razor bumps, and then it start getting dark and just looks a mess. So I was open to it or whatever. And then... Knowing me, the hustler in me was like, why pay them all this money when I can do it myself? Probably it's probably a device where I can do it at home. So anyway, got on YouTube and did a lot of research and I found this. I met a lot of, well not met, but I read up and seen like a lot of YouTubers that use this product, the IPL hair removal. And it's basically like laser, but it's just something you can do at home in the comfort of your own home and stuff like that. And it's not all like, it's not as intense as the laser removal from a actual laser removal, hair removal, like clinic. But at the same time, it does the same thing. Like it's essentially and let me open it. So the one I got was like the original because I guess they got like two, like an upgraded one. And I just got the original one, the pink one. It was cuter. It was cheaper. And at the end of the day, I don't have really thick hairs. So I'm sure this will work. And then the other reason why I got this product was because um, like laser hair removal is not really f wasn't created for like 
dark people. It wasn't created for black people. Let's just say it. it. Wasn't created for dark skin. Okay. So my color, this works for. So this is my color. Okay. If you have a dark skin tone, this will not work. So on their website, they have like a little quiz where you can basically pick your skin, your skin tone and stuff like that. And the color of your actual hair that grows out of your skin. So like me, my actual hair is dark. You know, my hairs are dark. Like my skin is this color and my actual hairs are this color. So basically what it was saying is like, if you have light colored hair, like blonde or gray, the laser, the lights will not be able to um, basically identify it. So it won't be able to laser the hair follicle. So the dark hair, the better. Now the skin tone is also the issue too, because if your skin is too dark, it won't be able to detect the, mel the melanin, it won't be able to detect from the hair, like follicle or whatever the case is. So your skin can't be too dark in order to get this. Now, don't fear. If you have super dark skin or whatever the case is, you can go to the actual laser hair removal clinics and they have this machine called like, starts with a Y. It's like yin or something like that. I don't know. They'll give you the option. It'd be like, it starts with a Y, yin or something like that. And that machine is supposed to do good with dark skin. But for at-home devices, no. Because the technology is not um, upgraded enough for a home device to have that type of technology to deal with the darker color skin. So, with all that being said, I ordered this. It came in less than a week. So, shout out to this company. Yes, yeah, fire. Um, this will be my first time using it ever. It'll be my first time ever doing laser removal. So I'm going to post different videos to update y'all, see how it works and stuff like that. But this is it. This is what it comes with. This is the little button or whatever. Right here is where you plug it in because they have a, a little plug. Have a little plug or whatever. And this right here is like, you know, flash. The flash. I guess you could put it on different um, intensities. So, when I went to the laser place, though, like, they did a little spot treatment. It did not hurt. It felt like a little, somebody pop you with a rubber band, like, boop, or whatever. But it didn't hurt. These at-home devices are supposed to be painless. And if they do hurt, you can turn the intensity down. So that's always good. Um, it comes with a user guide and such like that. Basically, oops, teaches you how to use the product, whatever. And then the other thing is um, at the laser hair removal place, you have to wear sunglasses to protect your eyes. This device, you can use anywhere, but do not use around your eyes. The, li the light, the laser will not do good with your eyes you do not want to put this around your eyes so you don't want to do your unibrow or nothing like that like no use this for neck armpits bikini lines legs arms whatever but don't do it around your eyes okay and what else that's pretty much it this is actually kind of strange for me like so oh okay this other thing with this you this for this for I'm, I'm talking to the black girls now because like it's levels to this like you can't use this if you just got a tan or you're you got to wait like 48 hours to get a tan after you use the laser removal and stuff like that and they also advise that you use sunscreen you don't want to laser and then go put your body out in the sun like that okay because it's already that light you know impulse and stuff like you don't want to do that. And then the other thing is for the black girls that don't get tans. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Listen to my video. Hold on. Wait a minute. 